Welcome Sagittarius. Okay, so we are going to look at the next two weeks and see what it is that you may need some help with um, using the Druid Wisdom Cards, Mystical Journey Oracle and the Light Seer's Terror. Okay, so let's get started here Sagittarius. Oh, look at that three already. That was so quick. Okay, the Midnight Sky. New beginning, maybe. Okay, the Midnight Sky. Whenever the darkness seems too hard to bear, call on St. Bridget to hold you in stillness and care. Oh, that's nice. Carry Chrysocala for wisdom and deep compassion. So Chrysocala is spelt C-H-R-Y-S-O-C-O-L-L-A. If you can't get a hold of any, just um, one thing that I would do is actually just have a look at um, an image of it and maybe print that out and just, you know, set the intent that you are using it for the same purpose as what you would if you had it with you and um, do that. Okay, so the next card here is King's Landing. Okay, and... Here at Kilmartin lies a stone on a hill. The footprint of crowned kings remain. Their power lies there still. Apophyllite and Moldavite will awaken your true life calling. Interesting. Moldavite is incredibly powerful quite hard to get hold of. Um, Apophyllite, I've never heard of it. I'm going to spell it for you though. Um, A-P-O-P-H-Y-L-L-I-T-E. Interesting. Okay, and the last one here, Sagittarius, is Welsh Waters. Okay, interesting that it's, ah, uh, is it a tree or is it the reflection of trees in there or is it moss? I do not know. But anyhow, it looks to me like looking up at the sky through the trees. But I think it's water because I can see ripples here. But anyway, how do you love you? How, sorry, starting you. How you love yourself is the first lesson to teach others on how to love you. Oh, I love that. The waters reflect nature in pure truth. Uh -huh. So it is a reflection of the trees. And that is so clear, right? It's actually hard to decipher what's what when it's that clear. That's incredible. Gather and carry pine for protection and peace. Sorry, Sagittarius, I had to sneeze. <laughs> okay, so yes, I really love that. That's gorgeous. So I suppose if you're looking at your life, Sagittarius, you can look at how people treat you and let it be a reflection of how you treat yourself. And, and rather than projecting or accusing or putting anything on those people, have a look at how you treat yourself, right? And what it is. What foods are you eating? What are you drinking? What are your daily habits? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you nurturing yourself? Are you respecting yourself? Are you being honest with yourself? Right, so these are things that is very important for you to start looking at in your life. Okay, so afterlife. Mm, interesting, afterlife. Afterlife. What is the message here? There's something about things, I feel like, this is this thought process, maybe, coming out and, and kind of surrounding you. So is this the thoughts in your head and how people, you know, the reflection of other people coming to you? Um, is this, there's this sense of vulnerability as well. Okay. Um, I feel like there's this cleansing of your energy that needs to happen. Okay, I feel like there's this rising up, 
energetically or vibrationally that could happen for you. Sagittarius, if you really reflect on what is going on in your life and how it is that you can improve things for you. Okay, um, yeah, because look, whenever the darkness seems too hard to bear, call on St. Bridget to, ho to hold you in stillness and care. And the King's Landing, here at Kilmartin lies a stone on a hill. The footprint of crowned kings remain, their power lies there still. See, afterlife, yeah, this is the thing, and this is something that I often say because I truly believe it. We've had so many lifetimes that we, when we talk about ancestors, um, we are the ancestors. And so I feel like this is, when we're talking about the afterlife, we're in the afterlife. This is our afterlife, right? This is our afterlife after the afterlife and how many, many other lifetimes we've had. Yes, it's another cycle. It's another cycle. And so, yeah, I wonder if this is something that has been repeated for you, okay, throughout these, these cycles of your lives that maybe this lifetime, it's time to really get a handle on it. Okay, but tell me more about afterlife for Sagittarius, please. Tell me more about afterlife for Sagittarius. I also feel like for some of you, um, there's this feeling that, um, you know, how, how, how do I describe what I'm seeing here? There's this sense of heaven is so much better than earth, okay? But um, I want to say about that, actually, Sagittarius, is that I've had a past life, well, actually a number of past life regressions before, okay? And I know that in past life regressions, people often say, oh, you know, when they went to that experience of having passed away in that lifetime that they've regressed to, that there's the sense of peace and love and all this kind of thing. I didn't feel that, okay? And I think it's because in this lifetime, um, I've learned to feel that with it, okay? It doesn't mean to say I constantly live like that because we are human and we still need to experience a range of emotions, right? But when I went to the afterlife, it was actually just one feeling of nothing. There was nothing. And I understood at that time, because I was one of these people who were like, oh, never, why would you want to come here? What a stupid choice that was that I made when I was in the afterlife. That, that was dumb, <laughs> you know. And um, But I, I, I get it now. I get it because we don't have that. There is not the range of, of emotions. There's not the joys, um, you know, the real heightened, elevated emotions um, to be felt over there because it's just one emotion. And I was like, this is boring. Um, and I understood why we would want to come. So, yeah, I don't know why that's coming up, but I just want you to know that if it seems more appealing to you, um, you may be slightly disappointed when you get over there. Okay, um, and the lows are there so that we can feel the highs. Okay, so that we have the understand, we need the contrast to appreciate, you know, the highs. Okay, now the three of wands here. Um... And we also have the Queen of Swords. And this is really interesting because I feel like this is you on your way to the Queen of Swords energy of sitting in that real knowingness of, you know, I know what I'm about. I don't need anyone to tell me. Okay, this is you making progress towards that, being sure of the direction that you're going in. Okay, um, I feel like for some of you, Sagittarius, there's this sense of 
projecting that out to the world, that that's how you are. Um, but there's still things inside of you um, that are in conflict with that, okay? And this may be a, quite a, cause quite a bit of turmoil for you internally, okay? So next card for Sagittarius in relation to this reading, please. Next card for Sagittarius in relation to this reading. Mm. Sagittarius has gone quiet. There we go. Cycles of life, yeah. So this is exactly what I was saying. Cycles of life. Going through these cycles of life. I love this. I love this. Um, this is just honestly Sagittarius. This is totally you. Right. Um, each cycle of life, because what I'm drawn to here is the wings. We've got the wings up here. And we've got the wings down there. And it's actually trying on these, wearing these rings, wings, rings. Um, so I'm seeing the circles here also. Um, wearing the wings in different ways in each lifetime to, to sort of try them out. You know, and sometimes they fly and other times they don't serve you at all, okay? I'm also seeing so many new moons here and these are all, I really do feel like definitely you've had a number of lifetimes here, okay? Here's the thing, Sagittarius, is that and because everything's speeding up and with the energies the way they are now on, on the planet, um, we, we now find ourselves almost living a number of lifetimes in one lifetime. So there was a period of time where we had to go through one lifetime to experience one thing and then have another lifetime to experience another thing. But it is such now that we can experience say have experiences which are equivalent to say four lifetimes in one lifetime right so yeah so we've got the five of cups here cycles of life i feel like you feel like you have been dealt a, a rotten hand for some of you and you're looking kind of looking at other people's lives to see that it's like oh well, they had this and why don't I get that like if I've you know I'm like the the god or the goddess like why you know in a Another lifetime. If I've lived that many lifetimes, why aren't I being treated like you know, like like I'm the the god or goddess of everything? Does does that make sense? And not in a way. I'm not saying that in a way that you're being all cocky and like I'm I'm the best. Um, it's more in a way of feeling deprived, of feeling like you've missed out on something. Um. And that may not be about your past lives. That may just be in general about your life that you're seeing other people getting all this stuff or not getting all this stuff, but living a life that you would like to live. Um, but what I want to say about that is, first off, not everything is as it appears from the outside. Second off, if they really are truly living that life, it'll be about their state internally okay um and we've got the two of wands here so this is the choice of of how we want to live because it really starts from the inside and not from the outside so if there's a lot of external validation or it, um you know things that you are trying to gain externally from yourself to fulfill something inside of you there's always going to be this lacking because it only has a temporary fix, okay? But once you have that, um, this this passion inside of you, your need for for external fulfillment or external validation 
becomes less. Okay, that doesn't mean that you won't like beautiful things or you won't like to receive a compliment, but it just means that you'll be able to live a more fulfilling life within, regardless of whether those things happen for you or not. Okay, so Sagittarius, next card for Sagittarius, please. And I just wonder if this is a new beginning of a new cycle, like a new life in this lifetime for you. Um, and maybe these choices are, sorry, these are not coming out the way I want them to. Maybe these choices, Sagittarius, are, um, are about you now starting this new cycle in a different way than what you have before. Yep, that was meant to come out. Inner child. Okay, this is key. Taking care of this inner child. Okay, because if you are living your life from a scared child point of view as an adult, um, you are going to live in fear. Oh, that's not right. That's not right. I mean, that is right. You will live this sort of daunted life of like, why can't I get it together? Like, what's wrong with me? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. This is this inner child inside of you, wondering how to live an adult life. It's a child. It can't live an adult life. So it's it's this is about stepping into this power, right, of the adult self. So potentially this is you coming from the world of the child into the world of the adult and living from that space. And how do we do that, Sagittarius? We nurture and we love the inner child on a daily basis. This must be done. This must be done. Okay, so when you do that, you then are um, assuring that inner child who's ultimately, you know, it's, it, it really is like sending a kid out into the world. Can you imagine a kid going into the CBD to go to work, sending them at two years old, four years old, seven years old, whatever age, right, and expecting them to live an adult life? Completely, that's, that's bonkers. We wouldn't do that, but this is what we do to ourselves because we don't nurture and take care of that inner child. Just because we grow into adults doesn't mean our inner child automatically grows into an adult. It doesn't. We need to nurture it and we need to take care of it and we need to help it heal from anything that happened in our childhoods. Okay, um, and if we had a pretty sweet childhood, then we still need to nurture that inner child. Okay. Tell me more about inner child for Sagittarius, please. Got the wheel. Yeah, by doing that, things will turn for you. Things will definitely begin to turn for you. That's three cards that have flipped over there. I just want one more. Sorry, the wheel. <laughs> the wheel. Um, one more card. I, I, I feel as though... Yeah, this is this life cycle again. It's a whole new cycle coming up. This is so dominant in this reading. It's incredible. And this, you know, this new cycle, if you do these things right, if you um, take care of this inner child and start to really step into your adult self and step into that, that power, um, you know, I love the Queen of Wands, uh, Swords, sorry, because she's she has this, this energy about her um, that she is so sure, nothing can shake her, um, her surety of who she is, nothing at all, you know, if she just, anyone throws anything at her, she just pulls her sword out and chop, not taking that on board, thanks very much, nope, chop, away you go, you know, um, she, she really, um, sets quite an example of, how to protect what it is that she fills her cup with. When you think of the Queen of Cups, who she knows what. Oops, I've just gone and knocked the cards everywhere. Who you know, the Queen of Cups knows how to fill her cup and what to fill it with, right? And that it is her responsibility only. The Queen of Swords knows how to protect that. Okay, um, so it could be that you've been going through these lifetimes in this one lifetime filling up your cup and wondering why it keeps getting spilt or it keeps getting taken from you or whatever. Um, it's because this inner child here is um, hasn't 
hasn't been nurtured so the inner child is expected to protect this adult's cup and it can't it's not able to okay so this leads us then to the ten of pentacles this is the result of taking care of this inner child this is what you would like in your life this is what you're aiming towards that you never quite seem to reach yeah and look at the wheel here like these are all these pentacles all in alignment here yeah and you're standing on them going da da this is what i've created look at this yes brilliant two tens like bam right there taking care of the inner child is so important i can't stress that enough there's one thing in the entire world that i would love to say to everyone is look after that inner child and so when we're talking about welsh waters here how you love yourself is the first lesson you teach others on how to love you. Loving your inner child and nurturing your inner child teaches everyone else how to love and nurture you. To actually do it. Because if you're not doing it, no one else is going to do that for you, right? As, as an adult. So yeah. Okay, next card. Thank you. Redemption. Look at this. Love this, rising up. See, I feel like all these are these lifetimes that we've been talking about here. These are all the all the people that you've been in these past lifetimes. And here you are. It's sort of like this. It's like this is the lifetime of all lifetimes for you, Sagittarius. And, and so now it's time to rise up and go, okay, now I've got the key. I can actually master this. So that the next lifetimes that you have are a whole different, um, you know, it's, it's just not even going to mirror these lifetimes that you've had because you've, you've done what you've needed to do in this one, yeah? We've got the devil here. Interesting. Yeah, so not allowing these things that have held you back all these times to keep holding you back, okay, because it's been time and time and time again, and this could even be Sagittarius that we're talking about relationships or jobs, um, you know, in that sense of it could have been a repetitive thing, like I'm always in the same workplace and it's always the same thing, or I'm always in the same relationship and it's the same thing, repeated patterns, look at the repeated patterns to give you a clue as to what it is that you need to work on, okay, um, and we have the full. Oh, I love it. Yep, stepping away from that energy, stepping away from all those things and all those people that don't serve you and the behaviours within you, I would say most of all. Stepping away from those, okay? Um, and that can be scary because some of these you feel like have served you and they're also familiar. You know, these are familiar um, people, familiar behaviours. Some you may even enjoy. You know, but they're holding you back and they're not serving you because, oh, wow, yeah, look at this. Because it's sort of like she's trying to just like drift off here, um, but she's suspended in the air and, and the devil here is putting out the hand to go, <laughs> see that's what we need to do with the devil, devil drop. <laughs> But like a mic drop. <laughs> um, we, you know, the devil is reaching out his hand to go, it's okay, I'll save you. Come with me, right? And we don't, you know, it was sort of in a sense of going, if you fall, you'll die. What if you fall and hit the rock? What if you don't land properly? What if, what if, what if I can save you, right? This is what we need to come away from. These false beliefs, these false promises, whether that's somebody in our life or ourselves, we need to come away from that Sagittarius. Okay, so next card for Sagittarius, please. And the thing is, I want to say here, is that that devil can be really good looking. Right, doesn't mean they're gonna look like a devil. They could be really yummy. 
okay and they could be all blinged up but there is clues and you know within what feels right and what doesn't okay and you know the cycles the repeating patterns so that's another clue for you self-care everything we've been talking about here self-care you know Sagittarius crying is self-care crying waters your soul because when we suppress our emotions and suppress our tears um we create blockages within our body when we let that flow we're able able to bathe in those emotions which um which allows us to actually grow it's like water welsh waters man welsh waters right sorry wrong side <laughs> Oh. yeah um I feel like the tears rejuvenate you you know how when you have a good cry and you feel really really tired and then you go to sleep. You go to sleep so easy because you're so emotionally drained and you're so tired. I feel like for you, it's kind of like what I'm seeing, what I'm being shown here is sort of like plucking off a new growth on a plant and planting that and the tears are what waters it. That's interesting. I don't know why I'm seeing that. But I am. Maybe it's the pine, you know. But yeah, that's very interesting. Um, but yes, I feel as though this is, I don't have much else to say about the self-care. I think it's pretty much explains itself, you know. But I do want to say um, that by releasing the emotions, you release more than just this lifetime. You're releasing other lifetimes as well. So be aware of that. So I want to just, you know, I don't want you to be so too hard on yourself. It could be something really little that's happened, for example, and you have this big emotion about it and you feel stupid for having such a big emotion. Well, it might not just have happened in this lifetime okay um the six of wands yeah look at this there's um there's progress here okay i do want you to celebrate yourself this is key okay for you to understand that you have come quite a long way and it's not as though really you're starting at the beginning you've come a long way already there has been progress so sometimes it's a matter of stopping and celebrating that nurturing yourself pampering yourself giving yourself a bit of a break to get ready for the next leg of the journey right okay so tell me more about self-care for Sagittarius please one more card for self-care for Sagittarius not half the deck one more card for self-care for Sagittarius please thanks okay two cards <laughs> that's you Sagittarius I love it um it's sort of like when half the, well, it wasn't half the deck, it was probably an eighth of the deck. But anyhow, when I said that, all I could hear was, why not? <laughs> now I'm like, yeah, Sagittarius, sure. Um, anyway, the Ace of Swords, a new way of thinking, a new way of looking at things, right? Beginning a whole new cycle, okay? And learning from the other cycles, taking those lessons with you to help you, okay? Um, and this recreation, this recreation of yourself I feel um, because when we're talking about already making progress um, you can have made progress and start a new cycle just because you're starting a whole new cycle doesn't mean that progress gets left behind in that other cycle you can take that with you which is exactly what I was saying and you can use it in other ways you know as you go along this cycle what you learned in the last cycles and all the other cycles before can be, you know, you can throw that together and stir it up and be like, voila, wow, who knew that that was going to be a benefit to me now? And even things that you may not think served you, um, you may very well find 
have you you'll start to see the reason why everything happened okay or why it is that you had to go through certain um experiences because now you'll be able to utilize the lessons from those okay so one more card here from this deck for Sagittarius please oh, that was a flip taking your power back yep look at that standing in that power man taking your power back step by step by step this is a process Sagittarius so do be patient with yourself and know that as you walk each step the waters become clearer and clearer okay and less dense and less muddy so well okay though that was so quick we have the world we have the world look at this on top of the world yeah um this is fantastic um we also have the hermit here and um this is you you see talking about the inner child here Sagittarius and um and nurturing that inner child okay allows you to stand in this energy of the queen of swords okay and I feel like by doing that you then let the the, the internal light that you hold within then begins to shine out of you okay so the you start to walk along this path, along this new journey, and while you may not even know what's ahead at all, it doesn't really matter because you now have tapped in to this internal power that you have inside. So you can actually, you understand that you can actually levitate, not only light the way, but you don't need to physically step by step by step walk along the steps. You can levitate above the the path way um and this is sort of intuitively speaking and feel it out to know when to stop when to take when to be cautious okay and when to take time to rest okay so this is quite i feel like this progress that you've made i don't i don't actually know if you realize how much progress you've made and the ability that you now have so I feel as though the key here is really working with this inner child because that's going to start to reveal to you um, exactly how the progress that you have made will serve you okay Sagittarius I will leave that with you Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.